if you want to edit photos, make it more stunning from turning a flat picture like this to something like this. Well, then keep watching. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching this video right now. Um, in my last video, some of you guys have requested me to make a video about how to edit pictures on Adobe Lightroom mobile. So well, thank you so much for dropping that comment and then I am making the video right now. So please do that in the future and I am very happy to help you out. If you are a complete beginner in Adobe Lightroom or how to edit pictures, well, this is the right video for you because I'm gonna be explaining all the tips, I mean all the basics, everything from the scratch. So keep watching till the end. So guys, uh, here's my phone, which I use to edit all the time. I mean, this is my main phone. And let's open the Adobe Lightroom. And then I have some of my photos here. Um, um, some some of my friends, my sister, and then I'm gonna pick one photo and then uh, let's edit it together. Um, this photo, let's try to uh, edit on this photo. I'm gonna be telling you how to edit this beautiful picture. Well, I think uh, this photo is kind of, it, it's beautiful, but then it's kind of flat which we need to bring out the details of the person, I mean of the subject. So first thing you want to do is make sure you frame the photo in a good frame. Basically, I am happy with this crop because um, you want your subject to be fairly visible. Let's dive into first thing I want to uh, go into the next tab is the light. In this here we have exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites and blacks. Basically first you want to see whether the picture is well exposed or not. You know exposure plays a very important in light. If you crank up this you know it gets bright more. So you don't want to make it too bright. Okay, I think this is fine. One super important tip in everything you do here, make sure you don't overdo it. Okay, this is one of the biggest mistake as a beginner because I used to make a lot. So um, I want my contrast to a bit pop out. So it's around 11 is fine for me. So basically highlights. Um, because whatever you are doing on this highlight, you're not able to see so much of difference. So like highlight 74. Um, if you were editing on the landscape or you want to make the clouds to bring out the details, you probably you want to lower down the highlights and it will give you so much of detail. But in here it was pretty sunny or cloudy. Uh, I'm not sure about that because I'm not able to see any details on this picture, so I will keep my highlight around 77. I think that's okay for me. And shadows, what this will do is it will make the subject more bright. Okay, here, here around here. Um, so let's crank up a shadow. See, let me show you what I mean. So whatever there the trees the subject this beautiful girl uh it's brightening up which is i want but then i don't want it too much so let's keep it around 37 yeah i'm happy with this and then the whites it it helps you to bright your image mm, i think i'm happy with around 33 i guess okay and then blacks you bring it down a little so whatever you do whatever the settings you have your exposure your contrast your highlights 
everything you just try it out you know you just have to see around what's work for you i mean it's not like chemicals it wouldn't harm anything or it wouldn't blast your phone i mean don't be afraid just try out it's very simple all right i think um in light here i think i'm pretty much done so one more tip make sure uh, here is the curbs you see here on the right top corner so just go in there especially on the right i want to make a s curve okay let's start with this i'm choosing with the first red and then i want to okay a super important tip don't do too much okay whenever you do anything on the curb you should be very careful with this make sure you do a small adjustment because it might make a different complete because it will make you so much of changes um, okay what you want to do is you want to make an s curve in all the colors like your red your green your blue in all the colors okay so i'm fine with this so what i noticed from here is the subject is um it's it's darkened a little bit because of the s curve we made in the curb grab so make sure you bring down your contrast a little bit okay and then and then i will bring up my blacks okay so here is the before and this is after we bring up the little details of it i think i'm done here for the lighting part let's drag in here i'm i don't want to touch any of the tint temperature vibrant saturation because um i i don't need it for now maybe i can show you like vibrance it makes the color more more pop i think this is great yeah i'll keep it on here the saturation around seven yeah i'm happy with this so in this color mix you have three tabs here you have the hue you have the saturation you have the luminance so let me show you what it does uh, when i choose the color for red and change the hue here so it changes to orange when i make it more i mean when i keep it 100 it it changed to weird orange color and then when i drag it down here it changed to pink but i don't want any of that i because I want to give the natural of this beautiful dress. Um, maybe I can bring this down a little bit. I think because we did something, um, we did make the S curb on the curb grab because of that, the uh, red is pretty much saturated. So, so luminous basically deals with the light. So if I crank this up, see. So all the red is holding up. I want to get my luminance around plus eight is fine. But then, you know, whatever uh, the settings I'm using right now, it depends on the picture you're using. Say for example, I am editing this portrait picture and then you, when you apply the same settings on your landscape photography, it might be completely different. So, make sure you want to check out which photo you are editing right now if you are following these tips uh, make sure you have some similar pictures like a portrait but the uh, person within red color dress that'll be cool so um i think i want to change this green color here so you click in green on this green tab on the, on the color mix and this color mix and i want to make this a little bit of orange kind of yeah i'm happy with that and then make it more dark because um what important here is the subject not the surrounding so that's why i want the subject to pop out and other things to dimp a little I think I'm happy with this and you want to go to this effect okay this is a texture 
I don't want to touch that but uh, a little bit is fine so in all my photos I I make sure the clarity is a bit down because I want that soft uh, look on the subject on the feel okay and then the D has this is the haze is this is cool and then yeah vignette um, because it will help the subject to pop out more by darkening the corners so let's see what I mean by that all right you see it's becoming more so I want this to coming here at the midpoint the feather the feather around here I'm fine with this um, yeah I think I'm okay with that okay so here the split toning you have to be very calm with this I want to keep it around here uh, not too much like around yellowish yeah this is great and the shadows with the greenish okay I think this is okay yeah this is fine all right so basically we have reduced the clarity here because of that you want to sharpen a little bit like I told you before when you do anything don't do it too much all right um, radius I don't want to touch that the detail the masking uh, this is completely fine but I want to uh, increase the highlight so if you want to do anything uh, like undo or redo make sure you uh, on this top middle one you have this one undo arrow you make sure you check it out all right so i think the image is kind of a bit contrast here a bit okay this is fine and my shadows to pop up more fine and the blacks to bring up more okay it's kind of retouch okay this is after i mean this is before and this is after so we bring so much of difference here and then in here you can make a version say let's say create a version um, you can name it pop model cause she's a model All right so you create a version and then basically when you download Adobe Lightroom it's free and you will able to access all the tools like your crop, your light, color, effects, the details and everything. But until and unless you pay like monthly subscription, you won't be able to use the geometry and this healing and selective. But I want to make some small changes here. Like I want to bring down the color of this grass because it's too much. Um, because I want people to focus more on the subjects nor on the background all right um and then what if i click into healing selective i want this round little thing and make it here make sure um whatever effect you are creating here i want this outside the, the circle so let's click it here invert now we change this so you can make the feather um like this so in this area you want the exposure to be dark and little so that your subject is pop uh, i want the highlights it's okay the shadow is fine i think this is fine before and this is after okay so just in case you have similar photos or you have similar model what you can do is go to this right top corner and copy the settings and do it here go back click in here 
then you past your settings boom it does the job here this is great before and this is after and if you want to export the photo just make sure you click on this top tools like share buttons here just click it and click the export to camera roll yes guys this is the final photo yeah so that's how i edit my pictures on my phone using the adobe lightroom mobile um, thank you so much for watching till the end let me know guys what do you think of this video let me know in the comment down below and then if you want me to make any videos later in the future about lightings editings how i edit my videos and stuff like that um please comment and so that i can make a video for you and thank you so much once again for watching till the end and don't forget to subscribe I will see you in the next video. Bye.